Hello, it's Teacher Tammy from RobinsonsOnlineTeachingJourney.com. This morning I had five VIP Kid classes to teach. One was a trial and I didn't show up, but that's okay. It was a short notice trial, so I got a little bit of extra half pay anyway. And then one of my favorite students that I've taught for a while had her unit assessment in level three today. And we always wonder, are they gonna have their project? Are they not gonna have their project? Well, this one has her project. She does very well with acting out everything. So this one was on going to the farm or going to the city. So she had out her little dino doll, which I don't have a dog, dino dog doll, and another little doll, and was acting out her project, and they would show me her drawings, and she drew separately on different pages, her um, farm, and her city, and the other buildings she had to draw for her project. It was very entertaining. We almost didn't get done with class, but she had her project. She did it. She was amazing at it. She still has pronunciation errors, and that's a continued work in progress, as always. And she does very well listening, and she likes the entertainment of back and forth, like puppets and playing. She's still a level three, so she just likes to act, and she's very, very good. Also, during this class, my dog was out. She's usually not out, so this is also a video on Little Sue. And you can see her on our web page, but she come over and somehow got stuck between my wall and my green screen, and it almost fell all the way over, but it didn't, and I can hear a lot of commotion, but my background didn't move on the camera anyway and didn't fall over. The green screen stayed within focus and it did great. So I just had to say, oops, I'm so sorry. And then we went to 29 minutes because we were still trying to finish her assessment. So after that and my dog freaking me out, then I had another class, and thankfully it was my last class this morning, but all that worry and that me being scared gave me a lot more energy for that last class, so I needed the energy boost, and the next class went very well, I was very energized, and the student seemed to really enjoy class, so it's very good to have energy for your classes, whether you teach for VIP kid, Q kids, Palfish teachers, have your energy. Because when you get up, if you just start class and talk normal like I do sometimes, and it's just going to be a very boring class for those students. And they have been home also with this quarantine. They've been home for at least two months, if not longer. And they have been watching their um, classes on TV or on their computer. They have hours and hours of homework. These kids in China, they know how to work. They work hard. They do their homework. And then they come to our classes. And we need to make it fun for them. I know that I've not been very energetic lately, so I know that I'm going to have to change some of my classes to make it more fun for my students. And this is why you need to have a lot of energy, even when videoing. I'm having a hard time with that. That's, that's going to be a hard thing for me to do, but just have lots of props around you. So just props, hello, say hello. I still, even though I green screen, I still have lots of little props, Smurfs with me. My lesson this morning was on ball, so we were playing baseball, throwing, catching. I have Spider-Man or Spider-Potato. 
whichever one you want to call him. Anything. I have these little farm animals out. And the cow. So I still have my props because I bought them first. But I also try to incorporate my digital rewards. Like I can type in Elsa and boom, she's on the screen and I'll move her over to the side. But just have a lot of energy with this. You can shrink her. Very good. And you can say, oh wow, you get a star. Let's see if we can stack the stars, okay? Yes, very good. Amazing. You can choose different stars. You can make them dull. Very good. So just let's stack the stars. There's other ones. So this is why I use digital rewards because it's easy for me to get to. I'm not searching for all my props. The props I do need, I keep close to me. I keep them in drawers on each side of my TV and I have them near me and the ones that I know I need for trials and the ones that I use a lot like the monkey. I have puppets around and my lighting gets messed up when I move. I need to fix that. So I need to fix that. So hello. Hello, rabbit. Ooh, you can teach above. The rabbit is above Elsa. Yes. Very good. You can use the cat to say, oh, look. Where's that cat? Oh, no, it fell on my head. Very good. Where is the cat? <gasps> the cat's on my head. Yes. Very good. And you get a star. You get another star. Boom. Wow. A thumbs up star. Amazing. You did it. You have five stars. Very good. So these are my digital rewards. And I can just easily take them off just by Xing out. And I still can't get, I still have to look away to do some of that. So I can't, I'm not have much practice looking on the screen when I do that. So if you want to learn more about Having an, having an exciting class or learn more about VIP Kid, Q Kids, or Powfish, please contact us at our website, Robinson's Online Teaching Journey.com. We'll be happy to coach you to see if you want to join one of these companies. To me, they're all great companies to work for. I started with VIP Kid. I still am with VIP Kid. I have been with QKids for one month. And Palfish, I have been on the free talk for over a month or two. But I started with the kids course this week, so not very long. My husband, Phil, has been on the Palfish app and been an official course, official kids course teacher for a month. So we're still new at this, but we still would like to refer you if you want to work for any of these companies. So please join us. Thank you and have a great day or an evening or whatever time it is for you while you watch this video. Thank you. Goodbye.